Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this padlock. It's my third SolidWorks video. Um, in this you're going to learn how to use the sweep feature, create planes, mirror sketch entities, offset sketch entities, use the sketch filler tool and use the feature fillet. So we'll go right into it here. So you can see here we've opened up a new part by clicking into file, new and then click on part. So we're going to start off in our top plane. So we right click that and click sketch. And we're going to draw the main lock part here. So we're going to go into our center and we're just going to draw a rectangle. We're going to line it up so it snaps in with that as so. Then we're going to go into smart dimension. We're going to make this part here um, 25. Click enter. Smart dimension this, click it. And we're going to make that 15. Now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to press escape and just to make sure that lines up with the origin I'm going to just drag it up there and you can see it's just snapped. It's created that coincident part there and just to note you can see that that's set in at that point so it can't move but if you did want to delete that relation you could just click on coincident and click delete. And you can see you can drag it around again but when I snap it back it'll go into that position. Now the next thing I'm going to do is going to click this one here the sketch fill a toolbar and I'm going to fill it this side. And you can see the radius there is way too big. So what I'm going to do is going to go back and we're going to change that into two millimeters. I'm going to click this one and I accidentally click this. So I'm just going to deselect that part there. And then I'm going to click OK. You can see it's filled it off them edges for me. Now the next one we're going to use is your mirror entities tool up here. So I'm going to click on that. Entities to mirror. You're going to click this. The fillets side and these are the bits that we want to copy and then this one then we're going to mirror it about this and we're going to select copy because we don't want to delete the ones that we've just we've done across so we're going to reflect them across this one here so we click ok you can see all our features are selected across then we're going to go to trim entities and we're just going to have you can see power trim is selected and we're going to just drag it through the center there so now we've got our sketch completed we can click ok um, and what I'm going to do is actually extrude this out. So we're going to go into Features, Extrude Boss Base. And we're going to make it. Remember, you can rotate your wheel by just your object by just clicking that wheel and moving it around. So Boss Extrude, and we'll make that 50 millimeters. So type in 50 and then click Enter. And I think that looks good. Then we can leave it at that. So click OK. Now, the next thing we're going to do is going to draw the bottom of our... Um, the bottom of our padlock, the circle that's going to, we're going to be sweeping. So you click on the circle toolbar here, and then we're going to come in and we're going to snap to that midpoint there, just so we can get it centered. And we're going to click and make our circle. We're going to dimension it about, let's see, um, we'll make that 10 millimeters out from the edge, out like so. And then we're also going to dimension our circle. And at this stage, I'm actually just going to show you how you could change your dimensions if you did it and you were unhappy. So if I dimension this and I made it 50, we'll say 20. And I did it out and I see my circle's too big and I've gone back out. I can't actually click smart dimension and click on that again because I can't dimension stuff twice. So if you get to that stage, press escape at the top of your keyboard double click the dimension and then change change it there so we're going to make it 10 millimeters and see how that looks 10 and that looks good there so then we're going to click ok now the next thing we're going to do is exit out of this sketch and we're going to give this a path to actually sweep up around so we're going to rotate our model in like so and this time we're going to create a new plane that's going to go into it so we're going to click this reference one that you'll find up in sketches so reference and then we click plane so it's asking me which ones do I reference. So I'm just going to go down here so you can see that sidebar. So um, you're going to click first reference and we can click this part here. So we're going to say it's going to be parallel to that first of all. And then the other thing is it's going to go through that point. So we've created a brand new plane. And if you want, you can go back and you can actually rename that plane as well. We'll call that the... Um, now this isn't necessary, but it's a handy thing to know how to do. So we can call that lock sweep plane. And um, 
and you can see we can drag it up we can zoom out move it in and just make that bigger just so we can see that's not not fully necessary but it just it's better when you're looking at it that you can see the plane that you're drawing it so the next thing we're going to do is going to go back to sketch and we're going to actually sketch on this plane so we're going to right click it and click sketch and we're going to click line then we're going to just rotate it down so we can see this point because when we sweep it we want it to line up with this so we're going to do a line straight up like so the next thing we're going to do is just put a dimension on that line and we're going to make that 25 uh, 27 say click enter now the next thing we're going to do is put a circle going across the middle here so we're going to click up on on this line but we're going to go on the drop down menu we're going to click center line and that'll allow, allow us to do a line that's just there for construction so press um center line here click on this one and just drag it out we're going to let it snap into a horizontal relation there we're going to move it out and we'll dimension that line then so the dimension of that will be can make that 30. click enter now the next thing we're going to do is going to draw a circle inside that so we're going to find our center point come out here come out to our side and draw the rest of our circle there and next thing we're going to click line and we're going to draw a line now we're going to be sweeping this down so i'm actually going to come down just a little bit further into the lock because um we want that thing to sweep up around here and then come down into the lock so there's no gaps at all press escape again now we're going to just trim away any of the stuff we don't need so we're going to go into trim entities and we're just going to be on power trim again and we just drag it through this point and this point now we can click ok and we can exit that sketch so the next thing we're going to go up into our sweat boss base feature up here click on that and again we can see We've got our path, we've got the profile of the thing that we're going to drag around it, and then we've got the path here. For, so the profile, we're going to select this sketch. And then you can see it's automatically selected our path. But I'm just going to say if we didn't have that, if it didn't cop on that that's the path it should be taken, you can actually select it manually here as well. So we're going to click OK on that. And you can see the main body of our lock then is done. And you might actually want to go back, and right click on this, and then click hide so we don't see that plane and we can just see our lock. So the next thing then we're going to do is we're going to come down at the bottom and we're going to sketch in our key. So you right click on this plane, click sketch. And we're going to just do a circle in the center of that. So you can see just down from the origin we've got our center point. And actually I want to center it right in the middle of this. So what I'm going to do is go going back and click my center lines again. I'm going to come down here and you can see it snaps onto the center of this line. I'm going to drag it across to here. And then I think when I click on my circle, it actually automatically drags a line down from here. So I can put that in the very, very middle. So I'm going to drag out my circle. I'm going to go back out, dimension my circle. Come up here. We're going to make that uh, 12 millimeters. Click enter. Now we're going to use the offset entity. So we're going to click offset entities. Click on this. And you can see it's created a new circle that's offset outside of that circle. But what we want to do is we want to actually reverse the direction that it's going and we want it to go internal instead of external and you can see this time it hasn't given us a preview and that's because 10 millimeter is such a big gap so if we made that say one millimeters that looks a bit better we're going to click reverse so it does goes on the inside rather than the outside then we click ok and we've got that sketch done now the next thing we're going to do is go to features we're going to go extrude cut and we're just going to cut that in. So we mightn't cut the whole way in. We just want to make a little pattern for the outside. So we can make that just one, one millimeter. Click one millimeter. Click enter. And you can see it'll extrude cut down as so. So we've all that done. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to just sketch our little keyhole in the middle here. So we're going to sketch. And we're just going to draw a rectangle. So we're actually going to do some of the things we did earlier just to keep it centered here going to do our center line you can see it selects the side of our circle there come out to this side and i can start putting in my my rectangle from there then so we can actually use the mirror entities tool again while we're doing this so we just draw go to line draw a line up here line down here line down here 
then what we're going to do is just going to make sure that we get this all even so we're going to dimension this between here and this point at the end of our line and we'll just make that um one let's see 1.5 millimeters click enter do the same on the other side from here to this point 1.5 millimeters again so it's all centered 1.5 and then from the middle here we're just going to go from this one smart to mention that from here to here we'll make that one we'll make that 0 0.8 millimeters so 0 0.8 click ok now the next one we go to our mirror entities up here click entities to mirror are this line this line this and then what are we going to reflect them across so we're going to click mirror about this axis and you can see it doubles it up over there i'm going to click ok and then we're going to go back into our features and this time we're going to cut this one a little bit deeper so extrude cut and this time we can change this to 10 millimeters so it goes right into the object click ok now you see you've got the main body of the lock done and we're just going to change some appearances before we finish up so you're going to right click this uh this top part here we're going to go to appearance and we're going to select this time our sweep feature so it's just going to do this bit that's curving up then we're going to go back you can see this uh, box appears on the right we're going to click into metal we're going to go to steel and then we can click stainless steel so let's see stainless steel down here we'll click select that one click ok now the next thing we're going to do and i forgot to actually add in we're going to do some fillets around the outside of this too so if you go into fillet feature click on it like so and you can see again i'm just going to make this smaller so we can see the side there and go down here so the fillet radius so how big we want the fillet to be is going to go into here So we're going to fill at these side parts here. So we click this, all the corners around here. Then we're going to go down and we're going to change this to one millimeter. See what it looks. And you can see that it gives us a preview. So if you don't have that selected, just make sure you select that preview bar there. And then when you're finished, you just click OK. And you can see we've got to fill it all around. Now I'm just going to go back in and show you. If you'd made that and you looked at it and you went, well, that's not the same size as that fill and I want to change it. What you do is you right click fill it, edit feature, and you can see it'll allow me to actually change that again. So we'll actually change that to two millimeters and click enter this time. So now to change the appearance of our body, we're gonna select this time. I'm actually gonna select all the bits off this that we um, that we want colored. So we want to select cut extrude, all the different cuts inside, and we want to select the fillets and we want to select the boss extrude. So what you do is you hold control on your keyboard, click boss extrude, Click cut extrude one, cut extrude two, fill it, and then we're going to right click these and we're going to click edit appearances. And you can see we can click uh, cut extrude two, it'll sele select it'll select the different ones that I'm just after selecting there. We can go down to metal, we can go to bronze and click on polish bronze. And there is your completed object. Thanks for watching.